Welcome to the Image Media Partners mini production workshop on recording a lecture with one camera. Lectures are being recorded on college campuses, at conventions, and at business meetings. You can spend a lot of money and record the lectures with three to five cameras, or with a little planning and the same results, record a lecture with one camera. I'm going to tell you how to do it. First, get there early and set up. Your tripod should be strong enough to hold your camera and have a smooth, easy to use camera head. A properly balanced camera should be level and point straight ahead without being locked down. This way when you fall asleep during the lecture, the camera doesn't end up recording the ceiling. Set up close enough to the speaker to get an MCU shot. MCU means medium close up. Do not set up in the last row of the auditorium. You will need a very expensive zoom lens and the picture will be shaky. Besides, you will only get a good shot of his bald spot. If you are right under the stage, you will get a good shot of his nose. You want to be eye level with the speaker. In a sloping lecture hall, this is usually five to ten rows back. If you are in a flat auditorium, get a riser and put your camera and tripod there. When you are setting up the camera, arrange the shooting angle so the speaker is not standing in front of the projection screen. Be sure you have enough tape to record the entire lecture. Don't bother recording the introduction unless the person doing the introduction is more famous than the speaker. Otherwise, it is usually just too boring. Use this time to get cutaway shots of the audience. Just turn the camera around and record 10 second lengths of people in the audience listening. Try to get a variety of groupings, such as a wide shot, a medium shot, and a few individual shots. You may get lucky and be recording in a hall with decent lighting. Today's generation of video cameras do a lot better in marginal lighting situations. But what do you do if someone turns out all of the lights? First, talk to someone before the lecture and make arrangements to have a light for the speaker. Make sure the spotlight does not shine on the projection screen. Tell the speaker you would appreciate it if they stayed in the light. We cover lighting in more detail in another presentation. Before recording, talk to the house AV technician about the sound. Be certain you understand exactly what they are doing. Relying on the house sound system can cause problems if everyone is not on the same page. If you are able to plug into the house AV system and record the lecture, be certain you know if the house AV output is mic or line level. If you have a wireless microphone, put that on the speaker. Record the house feed on one channel and the wireless mic on the other channel. Never let the AV tech use your microphone for the house sound. If anything goes wrong, including a direct hit from a meteor, they will blame it on you. During the lecture, stay on the speaker. Do some slow zooms and follow the speaker if they move. During the question and answer session, unplug the camera and using the portable batteries, sprint to the back of the lecture hall. Set up the camera and record a wide shot. Record steady shots with various framings that last at least 30 seconds. Now record some slow moves. Do not zoom in close enough to see the speaker's lips move. Now run down the side aisle and get a few more shots. Only do this on one side of the auditorium. You do not want to cross your line of action. We'll talk more about that in another presentation. If the speaker is still answering questions, you are golden. Go on stage and get a wide shot from behind the speaker. Get several different shots that last at least 30 seconds each. If the speaker used a slideshow, you will need that for the final program. The last thing you want to do is record the slides off the projection screen during the lecture. Make arrangements to get a copy of the slides and import them into your edit system. If you can't get a copy, simply run the slideshow and record the slides on site. Place the camera squarely in front of a flat computer screen and record at least 10 seconds of each slide. Be sure the speaker has signed a release form. Now you are ready to edit the program using all of the segments you recorded. When you put them together, it will look like you recorded the lecture with multiple cameras and you will have the luxury of editing out bad segments. In the next program in our series, we will discuss editing the one camera lecture in more detail. Thank you for watching our program. If you have any questions or want to make any comments, please visit us at www.imagemediapartners.com.